So in this video, we're gonna talk about buoy systems in marine research. Now, what is a buoy? Uh, buoys are, are floating devices uh, equipped with uh, sensors to collect oceanographic uh, data. Uh, you know, they monitor environmental variables such as temperature, salinity, currents, uh, and weather conditions. All right. Um, so you have anchored buoys or otherwise called moored buoys and drifting buoys. Okay. Uh, so the anchored buoys, those are fixed to the seafloor at a specific location and they're good for like long term uh, monitoring of, of oceanographic conditions. Cool. Uh, we use these for. Um, weather monitoring, tsunami warning systems, use those um, long, long-term stuff. Now the components of a anchored buoy are uh, the hull itself, which provides uh, buoyancy and a, a place to attach instruments. The mooring line connects the, the buoy to the anchor on the seafloor. And also sometimes you can put instruments on the, the mooring line as well. Uh, the sensors, um, those are the instruments that you use to measure the temperature, the salinity, the wave height, wind speed, all those things. You also usually have uh, a power supply. My nose is itching. You also usually have a power supply, um, solar panels or, or batteries or something to power the transmitters and the sensors and things like that. Um, speaking of transmitters, you'll have, uh, to get the data transmitted, you'll have satellite or radio communication for real-time data transfer. Um, and we, we use these, uh, again, in long-term changes, uh, tracking long-term changes in, in ocean conditions and currents, um, things like that. Um, tsunami detection, um, detecting abnormal sea level changes, uh, atmospheric and uh, oceanic conditions for weather forecasting, uh, marine traffic sometimes, um, you know, because we use them to serve as navigational aids for, for, for shipping routes and things like that. Um, so long-term data collection, specific location, um, they're reliable usually and stable for different kinds of sensors. Um, so they, they do have a high installation and maintenance factor to it, um, even though they are like limited to and they are like limited to a fixed location, so they're not really suitable for, for broad spatial coverage. And that's where the drifting buoys come in. So these buoys move with ocean currents and wind sometimes, and, and they collect the data as they drift. They'll monitor, they'll monitor and, and large scale areas for, for current tracking. Uh, global climate studies, um, marine debris monitoring sometimes too. Um, so they also have a hull. They're often lightweight because you have to drift around because they're designed to drift with the currents. Um, and they'll have the sensors just like the other one to measure all the things. And they'll have a GPS system that tracks the buoy's uh, location as it drifts. And they have like all the same things like the satellite communications for, for data reporting. But because they're drifting, They'll also have um, what's called a drogue, which is an underwater sail that ensures that the buoy moves with the currents rather than the wind. Um, so that's why they're good for ocean circulation studies and mapping all those things uh, in, um, so they can have good climate research and ocean research. With marine debris tracking, um, you monitor the movement of debris and po pollutants and you can also it also helps with tracking where these, uh, where this debris is coming from. Uh, so that's really, really important. Um, fishery management is really important because it can track uh, conditions in fishing areas and assist in managing fish stocks, etc. Um, so you get broad spatial coverage with the drifting buoys and you're able to collect data over large ocean areas, uh, relatively low cost when it, um, when compared to, to anchored buoys but you you have limited control over the buoy trajectory. It just kind of goes where it goes a lot of the times, so often with just the currents and the wind. Um, you, have a, it have, you have a shorter life um, due to you know, exposure to harsh, condition, to harsh conditions, um, but you know, they all have their different purposes. So the anchored buoys are best for long-term location-specific monitoring, uh, high maintenance costs, but you know, it is what it is, but it provides continuous data. 
Um, the drifting buoys are good for large scale, wide area data collection. Um, they're a bit more cost effective um, than the, but you have less control over the data collection locations. Um, so like anchored, like um, NOAA uses anchored buoys for their weather buoy network, real time weather data. Um, and there's a, there's a, a program called the Argo float program um, that uses uh, drifting buoys for their global ocean temperature and salinity profiling program. Um, both are, you know, good tools in marine research. Um, again, they, in different scenarios, they'll complement each other, but they provide valuable data for, for climate research, environments and monitoring and marine safety a lot of the time, you know? Um, so yeah, that, or that's anchored and drifting, drifting buoys. Cool.